Uh, hey, welcome, welcome to Proof Fit Christians Over 40. I'm really excited to share with you uh, a story, actually, of, of a success that uh, is in the inner circle on the inside of my premium coaching program. And I have a good friend of mine who's also a coaching client of mine as well. And Pamela, and before I, I have her talk, let me just share with you just one of the things that uh, I've realized over the, the course of the years I've been a coach is not just me sharing with you how I help people, but to actually have the people that have been a success on the program and are actually currently succeeding right now. And I'm really excited for, for two things. Um, a, Pamela is one of my close friends and uh, we've known each other for now, I think maybe 10 years, over 10 years. And then also, um, as you know, I've been in Costa Rica. So one of my other closest friends is her husband and we were in Costa Rica and they have a ministry down there and it's amazing. And I've and, uh, been just really grateful to be a part of it and to see what God is doing and moving. And I thought it'd be really awesome to have her come on because as of recent, she became one of my coaching clients. And I wanna let her talk about uh, her story um, and just the past kind of what happened before she came into the coaching program and even in the last actually month where she actually had COVID and overcame COVID, it is now getting back on a healthier path. And part of it is taking care of herself, taking care of her health and her physical fitness and also her spiritual as well. Everything is all included in there. But let's just uh, start. First off, thank you, Pamela, for, for jumping on here and taking the time out. Um, I know I'm, I'm used to doing lives and I know not everybody loves getting on lives, but I wanted to, um, just uh, welcome you to the Bulletproof Fit Christians Over 40. I thought it'd be awesome. Um, you're in ministry, and uh, I know this is more about your health, but I would just say is, uh, thank you. for. I know you got busy schedule, and you got to take care of ministry stuff, and you're on Zoom calls. And uh, probably the last thing you want to do is another Zoom call, right? Um, but let's let's start here. When we got together, we, we it was, I think, in September. What, what made you reach out? Now, I know we connect and we touch base and we our families get together when we can, but yeah. on a professional level, what made you reach out to me in the beginning? Well, thank you for having me, Mark. Um, well, I got to the point where I needed help. Um, I've always done a little bit of exercise here and there, walking, hiking, and I got, um, back in 2019, I, just, I had an injury to my hip, and I tried everything I knew to try to exercise without making it worse, but I wasn't successful. Um, and I was in a lot of pain. So I reached out to you because I knew that I, you have experience and uh, and that was the biggest thing, the pain that I, I experienced when I had and, and I needed to be in shape and I wanted to get uh, healthy again because I kind of lost my track a little bit after the injury and um, that was it, that was the biggest two things that I needed. I needed help getting back in shape. And I knew that if I got sick, I needed to be healthy because I also have a, you know, some health issues that this whole COVID thing could, could be an issue for me. So those two things. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things I know we touched base before probably last year or so, and you had a couple challenges and I running was one of your big things and big modes of exercise. And when you're in Costa Rica, that was what you did. And I know that got to be a struggle. And we talked about it, right? We had a conversation about it and and just saying, hey, making sure warming up and doing some proper things, just like Dave, right? And doing some of those things, but it still wasn't really enough, right? There was something else. Um, and then when you, you know, when the lockdown happened, which is in March, I think you guys came back in April, was it from Costa Rica? Were you guys here in April? So yeah, I mean, one of the other things is now being in a kind of in your environment, not that you didn't know, because you guys know Florida, but as far as being a new environment and being challenges, was there anything that aside from the exercise part that was just hard was like, you know, I was, I, we were talking earlier about like the, 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 the amount of excess for food here in the States versus in Costa Rica, just the options and fast food and all that stuff. Was that a challenge as well? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when it comes to food, it's really easy here. You just drive through, you get <laughs> some good hamburgers, some fried food, some french fries, which are my really my weak spot. And uh, and it just, it became too easy. You know, the frozen pizzas and just convenient. It was very convenient. We did come back. We were very busy as we were coming back because we had to transfer everything from 
live ministry to online. So uh, eating, you know, and then prepping food was the last of our, our priorities. You know, my husband did start a garden, but that would take a while before he started giving out food. Um, and the workout part too became, uh, it was just, I didn't know what to do. You know, what did I, what do I do for the pain? What do I do without making it worse? I was, I needed to get it stronger. Um, so all that, it was a big change for us, like for everybody, you know, the lockdowns and not being able to, uh, we are, we have a space where we are at, but still, I couldn't use the space to walk around because I could not really walk or run on uneven surfaces. It was just not good for my head. So all those things kind of came together and, uh, um, yeah, the food was definitely a yeah. factor, you know, easy to yeah. use. You know, and you mentioned busy, like not only were you back in the States, you were running a ministry that church, there was still a ministry that was needed. There was still people that you work that worked for you guys and for the ministry. And you have, now you have three kids I know, but you, can you share the ages of your kids? You have three that are. Yes. I have an uh, 18 year old, a 14 year old and a 12 year old now that uh, they all had to go on online schooling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we shared in our uh, our challenges and struggles with that, which is super. And they were back, you know, they weren't in in school in Costa Rica; they're back home. So I can't even. So needless to say, you were super busy, a lot of things going on. Certainly easy to put your health down at the lowest priority, but instead you said no. Like you said, this is not going to happen. And we, you got in touch with me and that was back in September, right? So you had to get adjusted April, May. We touched base a few times, but really September when you pulled the trigger and said, I need your help. So aside from, I don't think there's really, cause we have history, maybe anything skeptical about, and I know you talked to me beforehand about what, like maybe this is not gonna be the right thing. Am I gonna have like the accountability part? Was there anything that you might've been skeptical about as far as before starting? No, uh, well, when it comes to, uh... To the work that you do, absolutely not. I've known you guys for a long time. I know that you're very good at what you do. I, I really didn't have any doubts in that part. I would had doubts that I wouldn't be able to hold my end of the burden, that I wouldn't be able to, you know, uh, schedule in my workouts, that I wasn't going to check in. Uh, but I needed it. And like I said, the pain was, was a big factor to help me move, find help. And I just did it. I just, I just did it. Uh, there was points to where my workouts could be any time in the morning, afternoon, even late at night. I've done it as late as 10:30 at night, just to try to be consistent. Um, and I think the biggest doubt it was on me: well, Am I going to be able to do this? And you know, uh, use this time and this opportunity wisely. Uh, so, but I did, and I think I've tried to do one thing at a time, conquer one one task at a time, getting my workouts done, then getting my food in order, and just little bit, little steps. The accountability yeah. has been really, really good for me. Also, uh, some of uh, the teachings are really good, being able to get information in, in a specific subject are really good. I love uh, seeing other people's experiences, um, the inner circle, the encouragement when other people are cheering you on, you know, at least somebody sees that you're trying to do your work out. You know, <laughs> really, the little things, they make a big yeah. difference, I think. And, yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead. I didn't know you are Yeah, so that, yeah. that's, it's really good. It's really good to, to be part of that and to have it there, you know, to be learning and being able to have the, uh, the answers as well when you have questions you know, specific questions. And like I said, to me, it's very specific with this hip injury to to not hurt that. And knowing that I'm doing exercises that it's not gonna make it worse gives me a lot of peace, it really does. Yeah, yeah. And, and you did, and here's the thing. And I'm, I'm sure everybody wants to know like, okay, tell me your results, tell me like what. And we've been working together now. I know as you're getting on a healthier path and wanting to improve your, your fitness, the big thing for you is getting out, like getting your hips stronger, getting healthier, getting, having more endurance and also improving your health. Cause you talked about just earlier about your health, just some of the health issues you've had before. So September, the re reality is people want to know now, what I'm excited about is to see that not only did, you know, not, I wasn't excited that you got COVID, but excited that you got through it and that I can see even now when we got on, I was like, you even look better than we did the last time. Um, when, when I saw you when we got back in Costa Rica, but just being able to get through that, I'm just excited because you put in the effort and it definitely helped. But let's talk September to now we're in the end of January. What are, what are some of the things that you felt? I know aside from the accountability, but as far as 
some of the results that you felt that you've gotten in the last three, four months? Well, one of the biggest things, which was uh, right actually before I got sick, it was um, on New Year's Day, I decided to finish a, a painting project that I started back in April. And when I started in April, I wasn't working out and I was, um, I, I would paint a day and I would be down for a day because it was so exhausting to my body. So I knew that I would paint a day because I also, I also have, I was um, diagnosed with fibromyalgia a year, years ago. So when I do something like that, it takes me two days, a day of work, a day of rest. So on the 31st, I said, great, I'm going to paint tonight and tomorrow is a holiday, I'll rest. And, uh, and then, so I did like six hours of painting and uh, I said, okay, great, tomorrow is going to be a rest day. And I'm, I was preparing to wake up in pain like I usually do. But I woke up and I had no pain. And I was, I was very surprised. And I, I totally think it's because I, I'm stronger than I was. You know, when I started the workouts, I couldn't do a 10 second plank. You know, I could barely use the foam roller because my arms will hurt. You know, it has nothing to do with the foam roller. We try to hang on to it. So I, I became stronger and I, I was able to see it in, in there. Um, and that was, that was a big, big accomplishment for me that day. I was very thankful for that. Um, and then um, when I, I did, I was diagnosed with, the, with COVID after a couple of weeks of being sick, actually, around the 16th of, of January. And, um, and at first it scared me, of course, because I, I have this cough that I struggle with. But then as I, as I calmed down and I said, okay, your, your body's prepared for this. And knowing that I had been taking care of myself, that I've been eating good, that I've been doing everything I knew to, to, to stay healthy, uh, gave me a peace of mind. And I tell people, I said, I said, you know, you might get it. Just make sure you're walking, make sure you are, you're eating right and just prepare your body. So that when you do get sick, you can fight it off. And, and I know that there's a struggles for uh, people, you know, with uh, underlying issues, but um, it did, it, it got me, it got me down for a few days, but um, I'm coming back up and, uh, and I was, um, whether it's, I think it, it does help a lot to be in, in, in better health, you know, and to know that I had done those things, I think mentally it helped me to recover because I think a lot of the recovery, you know, you can panic, you're like, well, this stuff can, can hurt me, but I think it gave me a little bit of peace of mind. Yeah, I'll tell you, I, you know, um, I think we could both say is, uh, and the, the things I've heard just in ministry with you guys in Costa Rica is there's definitely divine intervention. So it's funny how we've been connected for years, but not working together. And now in the last three, four months, you've been building your immune system, getting stronger, healthier, more fit. And this happened to you with, you know, I, I'm not saying that it, it could or couldn't have been worse, but chances are it probably would have been a lot harder for you to recover had you not been pursuing the things that you needed to be pursuing to taking better care of yourself, putting Pamela at the higher level of the priority list, right? With all the, every, everything else going on in the family. And look, we all know, like as parents, we have to take care of our kids and we have to do our job and, you know, our, our duties at the house and with our family and our spouse and relationships and all those type of work and all those things. But if it's easy for us to put ourselves down at the bottom of the kind of priority list, and what's really awesome to hear from you is that you, wherever you were on that priority list, you started to put yourself higher and it definitely has paid off big time. And that's, that's so, so awesome. Um, so let me ask you this, just in a sense, because I know a lot of people and yourself included have never done any online coaching. So I always ask this, who in a, in a general sense, who, what type of person might this program, the program that I have, or I say our inner circle, the Lean Body Breakthrough Coaching Program and, and my inner circle program. Now, this being in the Bulletproof Fit Christians, which is our free group. And a lot of people on here having in support and it's a great group. But as far as in the inner circle, who would you recommend um, this for, a type of person that you would recommend this for? Yeah, uh, well, you know, you asked me back a few minutes ago, one of the things that I was hesitant about and, uh, and I think it relates to this. I was thinking, will this short workout be effective? Mm -hmm. So, and I, and I said, well, I'll give it a try. And they are. And I think, so if you don't have a lot of time to think through your workouts, to research what you need to do, to even plan your workouts, plan your meals, this is for you. Because you give it to us very easy, really, in a lot of ways. It's very 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes. 
<laughs> and I was 15 minutes, and I, I was thinking, and some of them are pretty hard workouts. I mean, a couple of them I couldn't finish at first. It took me a while to finish my workouts, even the first workouts. But but I was, I was kind of wondering in the back of my mind, hmm, I wonder if this is going to work. But it does. It made me stronger, I think. It made me healthier. And, uh, and, and, and then your workouts are getting harder and harder, which is means that I am getting stronger and stronger and being able to do them. So if you don't have a lot of time, this is going to help you. If you don't want to research, because we, we all can sit down and research and get it done. But if you don't have the time, this is it. You know, and it's, uh, I think this is good for people who are busy, for people who, who need the encouragement, if you need the information, if you need um, all that kind of stuff, I think this is for you. you know? Awesome. Yeah, that's great. You know, we're, we're going to finish with there. Uh, the one thing I, I think the big the big factor with the exercise, we're all busy. Like we got, if, if you're listening now and you're over 40, maybe if you're retired, you might have a little more time. But then it's like having to deal with what do you, what kind of workouts? There's so many different options out there. What should I do? Now I'm retired and my body's not the same as it was. But for the most part, the one thing that, that I've made it a point for my program is to eliminate the confusion. Like why be confused when you have a coach like, uh, and you have somebody that has years of experience to remove all the confusion. And aside from that, the support, right? The accountability and support, because you know, you'll hear from me if you don't get your workouts and if you don't check in, if you don't do your Monday goals or, you know, share with us your wins on Friday or come onto the training, obviously um, you have that. And that's the difference. And I'll just say a congratulations to Pamela. I know we still got a ways to go and we're working on some specific goals. I'm excited for you. I'm excited that you got through COVID and I know you're still in a little bit of the recovery process, but you, you came through it flying colors. I know it's hard for a lot of people that maybe their immune systems are weak. Um, but I can tell you, if this is any testimony to the priority you need to put on yourself and your health, your personal health, to make sure not just to avoid COVID or to break, get through it, but to truly build your strength up, to build your immune system up, to get your body feeling more confident. Um, it's truly like uh, worth its weight in gold, so to speak. And uh, anyway, thank you so much. Pamela, anything last minute you want to say or you're good? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I did want to say one more thing that I think uh, for somebody who, if you get bored easily and if you don't like going to the gym all the time or doing one thing, this is for you because one of the things I love about it is that it's constantly changing for me. Yeah. And I don't have to do the same thing every day for months. So that awesome. is one more thing I wanted to say that I really enjoy about that. I said, oh, this is great. I, you never know what's going to come next week. And those workouts are going to be different every few weeks. And that's really cool. I think. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to, and you don't have to go to the gym and you don't have to have any kind of fancy equipment and it, and you get results right at the end of the day. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, great. All right, Pamela, thank you so much. And uh, for you guys listening too, if you want more information about my, my inner circle coaching program, you can reach out to me if you're friends with Pamela on Facebook. You can reach out. I always say you can reach out to any of my, my students in the program that are working hard, getting great results. If you want to just send me a private message, I know sometimes it'd be weird to post it publicly. And there's, you know, not everybody needs to know if you want help or you need help. Just send me a message. Just hit the word bulletproof and I'll get you some more information. We can jump on a call and see if we're a good fit. Anyway, that's it. Take care. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks, Pamela. Thank you. Have we'll a good day. You. Bye.